Hello everybody, this is my shop with me, Sonic Money here. Yo, here we go. This is my way to the comic. There they are. Hello everybody, thank you all very much for tuning in to another episode of Comic Book Roundup. I hope you enjoyed the new intro I had going on. I thought it looked really cool. That was the place... Where I get my comics so if you make videos as well would love to see what your shop looks like but without wasting any more time we have the good old Hastings bag here with us starting off with Teen Titans issue one I've read this already and I really hope it sets the tone for the series it was only three dollars I hope it continues to be that way this book was incredible, and actually, in yesterday's video, if you watched it, you will remember uh, I talked about how I'm going to start doing reviews on a website. I'll give you the link down below, and this will be up there by today. I'm reviewing Teen Titans issue 1. Really enjoyed that book. It was very good. Next, we have the Marvel 100th Anniversary Book of X-Men. have no idea what it's about, but... Cyclops look like looks like he's getting married. Might be Jean Grey, I don't know. Next we have a Batman Eternal issue 15. Batman Eternal has been awesome so far. Issue 14. Whew, that, that was a great issue. What's going on right now is in it's insane. I can't wait to see where it goes. Next, we have a book I was really looking forward to this week, and it was Harley Quinn, the one shot where she invades San Diego Comic-Con. Wraparound cover looks awesome. This book looks like it'll be absolutely hilarious. It's a pretty thick-sized book, and I hope that doesn't mean there's more advertisements in there. I can't wait to read this. It looks like it's going to be great. My friend Me Sonic, who you saw in the intro, he already read it, said it was hilarious. Um, and then that was all the floppies I got today. Uh, of course, you know, I didn't get Amazing Spider-Man 4 because, like you guys know, sometimes my shop doesn't get books and it hasn't gotten Spider-Man since issue 2. But... That's okay, I'll just get it from mycomicshop.com. Um, I did get Swamp Thing, Volume 1. Been re I've been looking for this book. Um, I've seen it, but this one was used, which I was very pleased about. It was only 7 bucks. I was so happy I found this used because, <clears throat> you know, graphic novels aren't cheap. And Scott Snyder wrote this. I don't really think he did the next story arc, but I'm looking really... I'm. I'm excited to read this. That's all I can say. And that is all I got this week. Probably will have to get Amazing Spider-Man 4 at a later date. But I um, got to catch up on the Amazing Spider-Man series. It is wonderful. Really enjoying it. Dan Slott is doing an awesome job. I can't say anything about the book. Hilarious jokes from Spidey, of course. We get that again. And uh, they're also coming out with another um, Superior book, issue 32, coming out, I think, in August or September. It's part of the whole Spider-Verse thing going on, so can't wait to see what that's all about. Anyways, that's all I got this week. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great week.